Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So on this one here, I wanted to talk about an article that was actually written about The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, uh, I guess potential season two, or if, if The Ones Who Live is going to be its own series, and they start a new series in the future, just like what the story could be next, you know, like where can you go next? And this article was written by Hollywood Reporter and uh, actually discussed, you know, the idea of Rick Grimes' brother showing up at some point and talked about like, the, you know, the reunion with Daryl and, and a bunch of other storylines here. So I kind of want to talk about that, give some thoughts on the whole thing here. And um, yeah, get into all that. So before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking dead content like this. And also I apologize for missing the, the last couple of days. I really, really wasn't feeling well, you know, to get the last couple of videos out that I did. Uh, I was already struggling through that and then it just got a lot worse. And so I really, I was out for a couple of days. Like I was really out. And so now I'm feeling a lot better. So now I'm going to get back on it here. Uh, I'm doing this review or not review this video, but afterwards I will be doing a dead city season two video because there's a lot more details regarding Kim Coates new character, uh, who he's going to be playing in dead city season two. There's some filming stuff I want to get into and all of that. And, um, yeah, cause there's a lot of really interesting storylines for season two. And I'm, I'm very, very excited for this show. I really can't wait for the, the actual premiere of dead city season two which is probably going to be a bit but we're probably going to get teasers and trailers and learn about new storylines and all that throughout this year so yeah a lot to look forward to with that but let's actually get into this here so again i'll leave a link down below to the actual article here but hollywood reporter actually posted this article here and again i'll leave a link down below to the article definitely go and check it out but it's sort of discussed you know since the ones who live is over like where is the next direction of the franchise where is everything going here and i know people are going to be there's no season two I can already, I can see the comments. I know some people are going to be saying that, which I will say, honestly, there hasn't been a lot of comments like that. I think a lot of people do generally, you know, know that there is going to be more story with Rick and Michonne. It, it could be a season two, but there could be a new series. And so for me, I'm not going to say the Walking Dead new series with Rick and Michonne, because I don't know if that's going to be, you know, coming out. So I just kind of say, well, the Walking Dead, the ones who the season two, because it's, that's just more, you know, because there's going to be another story with them. So I don't know, like they could go back and do a season two, right? Like we have no idea what their actual plan is. And it seems like, yeah, there is going to be an actual plan here. It's just sort of, you know, where do they go next? And I'd say everyone's trying to figure that out right now, you know, like sort of like what's the direction overall. And I think the direction is, you know, now that Rick has reunited with his family, I think the next reunion is going to be with everyone else. And so that is sort of the next part here is like, when does that happen? Right. And so uh, it depends on a lot of other aspects of the story here and, you know, how much more reunions they want to do in terms of, you know, closing the story here and telling everything entirely. Right. And so that's sort of, you know, how they have to set everything up right now. And I think that there is some stuff that Scott Gimple has to do in terms of setting up a lot of stuff. And that's what I think makes Dead City season two. Very, very exciting. You know, I think that The Walking Dead Daryl Dixon already has a lot of exciting elements there. There's stuff with Varian Walkers and all of that, and it's exciting to see where that's going. Um, Dead City Season 2, there's going to be some storylines and all of that, but how does that affect the overall Walking Dead universe and, and sort of, you know, how does that relate to what Rick Grimes is doing and all of that, right? And, like, how does that get everyone together to sort of end, you know, like, I guess whatever storyline is going on? I, th I think that's why people are disappointed about the CRM arc because it's just too, um, you know, you sort of already had your option there. Like, you had just the group that was going to do it all, right? Like, you just, you had all of that there and you ended it. And it's just so, so disappointing. And again, I still look back at it and I'm still very upset about it. I don't know why they decided to do that it's really really i think a, a really bad decision like a honestly really bad decision to end the crm arc right i know it's not technically over and there's ways that you can revive the arc still i do get that you know it's not completely over you just took out the the military aspect to it and maybe that was just the military aspect to it to you know to get rick grimes to actually be free from the crm you know so now if the crm does you know gain more power again rick is sort of free from it and you know there'll, there'll just be different issues there right you know so, so i i kind of get that but uh you know in terms of where they could actually go next you know obviously daryl dixon and dead city that's going to be the, the the big thing here you know i think daryl dixon uh, not Daryl Dixon, but Dead City in terms of where they can go with the actual story. It depends really on what happens with Negan, right? Like, what if he actually gets a lot more power? And, you know, like that could be a big issue here, you know, just for the, the you know, I guess the United States and whatnot in general. And I wonder if that does become sort of a concern. Um, I don't know how people would feel about that if Negan became the villain again. I don't know if he would become the villain again in that sense, because I don't know if they would want to do that, because I do want Rick and Negan to work together but again it's more of you know negan can't do anything because he's working with the dama 
And there's just certain issues there with Herschel and all that, right? So he doesn't want to get Herschel involved in all this stuff again. So there's a lot of stuff that's sort of at play there. And so it could be one of those situations where Negan is an actual villain and he's not really wanting to be the villain. But again, I don't think they're actually going to go down this road. I don't think it's going to be, you know, what actually happens. I feel like what's likely going to happen there is I think Negan's probably just going to work with Rick, you know, in terms of just whatever is going on here. The article here does actually bring up one point that I found very, very interesting, though, and it is that, uh, Oh, the article says, what's more, Rick has an entire arsenal at his disposal now. He's not in charge of the Civic Republic, but in the final moments of the ones who live, a fleet of aircrafts drops off Rick and Michonne, completely changing the game when it comes to in-universe transportation. With the Civic Republic as an ally, combined with possible Commonwealth resources, the Alexandria crew's ability to travel across the Atlantic suddenly opens all the way up. Not only are we likely to see some kind of major walking to crossover at some point in time, but the way is wide open for it to take place in Europe, thanks to the gang's new flyover capabilities. And so that is a very interesting idea right there. Imagine if they actually went to Europe. Like, imagine if that was actually the storyline that they did, right? Like, like, it's something that I'm not really thinking about too, too much, but because of what they're trying to do, and because they have the Civic Republic, in terms of writing and all of that now, you know, The Walking Dead has become very, like, they can sort of travel wherever they want now, right? Like, if they want to go to Europe... I mean, they have helicopters and stuff and, and planes and everything like they're able to or ships, right? Like they can go over the Atlantic if they want to, right? Like it's very, very possible now. And so that's the one aspect that I will say that I do like about the CRM arc ending is that they actually have the CRM now as like, you know, like they're actually really amazing resources, right? Like you actually have all of the military and all that. And Rick, if he needs something and all that, obviously he can just ask for for some help and whatnot. So that is something that is really, really incredible. And Denai Guerrera, I know, mentioned at one point after the show was over, uh, she's, you know, she was talking about, like, what would the characters be doing now, you know, after the Once Who Live was over? And she said, well, there would be a part to them that, you know, I'm, I'm just paraphrasing, but, you know, there would be a part to them where they would want to focus on their family life, but there's also the other half where they need to go and help out, you know, like the CRM and all that and help out people with resources and stuff like that. So I think that's probably what they will be doing. And so whatever new series happens, that's probably going to be the start of it, right? Like, that's just sort of what they do. They focus on their family life, this and that, but they also go and help out a lot of people around the world. And so somebody that needs help, Daryl, right? Daryl needs help. So that could be where you go next. And again, I don't think that's going to be in a Daryl Dixon season two or three, because they're going to be filming season three this summer. And there's no way Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero are going to be there for that. So there's, uh, I believe that, you know, maybe a season four or five, but are the reunions really going to happen there? No. and I think just because the actors like, you know, uh, Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrero, they're going to want to have their own new series and, and promote it like that again and do all of that. So I think, you know, based off of them coming up with ideas and Andrew Lincoln even said, you know, it's going to come from Denai Guerrero or Scott Gimple. So, you know, and the fact that Denai is very like she doesn't want to talk about, you know, what a season two would be if there's going to be more story, this and that. And she's kind of you know laughing when she says that. I think it's because they know it and they want to work on the story and get everything right here. So I think that the chances of it being on Daryl Dixon are just very low. It's probably going to happen in their own show because they're, they're going to write it, right? They, they want to write whatever's going to happen next and be in charge of everything. They're not going to take over the Daryl Dixon spinoff. There's no way that's going to happen. But for the story to go to Europe, that is also very possible. I could see that being the case. I don't know if the story should end in Europe, though. You know, it'd be a little different. I've always wanted them to sort of come back to America. But again, they could do a very fast montage again. I wouldn't want them to do that because I didn't really like how fast it went. Like it was rushed so, so much there in the finale. But uh, they could always do that where all of a sudden they're back in America and then the story's over kind of thing, right? So we'll have to wait and see where they go here. But there's also this interesting part here to the article that I want to bring up that I actually wanted to hear your guys' thoughts on. And it is uh, well, we'll just get into it here. So it actually says here, um, while it's not canonized on the show, there's another element of Rick Grimes' story that might connect him to Europe, his brother. A comic book called The Walking Dead, The Alien, written by Sega creator Brian K. Uh, Vaughn, reveals Rick's brother Jeffrey is in Spain when the zombie apocalypse begins. Some story elements would need to be remixed and remastered in order to get our Walking Dead regulars and Jeff Grimes in the same space, but it's one of the lingering major events from the comic book canon that has yet to be translated to live action. And if the show finally cuts off Rick's hand, a new story centering on Rick's brother doesn't feel so far-fetched, which, yeah, I would agree with that. I think that, I think some people might be like, wait, what? That makes no sense. But I think 
if you just explain it like, well, it happens in the comic, then people are going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess that makes sense then, right? Because, again, remember, in the comic, Rick's brother's not mentioned, right? Like, there was one mention very, very early on. I think it was issue three. Rick doesn't even talk about his brother. There's not even a mention by Rick Grimes that he has a brother at all in the comic. Um, in issue three, I think it's Laurie that says something. It's one line of, like, you know, his, his little brother, Jeff, or something like that. It was just something so small, most people forgot about it, and literally everyone just kind of forgot that, oh yeah, he does have a brother, because he never talks about his family, he really never talks about his brother at all. There is still a lot of mystery there, I'd say, in terms of how Rick, you know, feels about uh, Jeffrey Grimes and all of that, because, I mean, Jeffrey Grimes died, obviously, in the comic, uh, and then Rick Grimes dies at the end of the Walking Dead comic as well. So it's like both brothers are gone now, so there's not really a way to sort of tell that story anymore, really, unless you want to do some sort of, I don't know, I guess you could do some sort of comic story, you know, I guess explaining a lot of that. But I, I think, you know, Rick Grimes' brother is, a, you know, it's a possibility. And the reason why I think it's a possibility is because Rick Grimes is still alive, right? Like, I think if you were to kill off Rick Grimes, then it would be very, very like, wait, you're probably just doing this because of like ratings and this and that. But like, it is a comic thing, and if Andrew Lincoln's still on the show playing Rick Grimes, you can't really say it's a ratings thing or anything. You're just, you're trying to make the story exciting. So to me, you know, and you're kind of borrowing from the comic, I think that makes sense. So I think they could do something like that if they were to actually get into the storyline of, you know, Rick Grimes' brother is actually um, there in Spain, or maybe something different happens, right? Like, he could have went to Spain originally, and maybe he doesn't die, right? Like, maybe you actually write it so that he doesn't die. And remember, it's Rick Grimes' younger brother, so I'm not sure how much younger he was, but he would still probably be, I mean, at this point now, he'd probably be in his 40s, I would say for sure. And um, yeah, I think that would just be a really interesting part here in, in the whole story, to introduce you know, uh, a character like that. And you could say that, you know, obviously, like, like maybe they, they just haven't gotten along. Again, Rick doesn't talk about him in the comics. So there's a, a huge, like, in terms of writing and crafting the, the story, there's a lot of possibilities because, again, Robert Kirkman didn't really get into it a lot in the comics. So you can go in a lot of really interesting places here. You, de you definitely can. I think that that would be something that would be very interesting to do on Daryl Dixon, just because, obviously, the character is over there, and it would be a really awesome way in sort of connecting all of it, right? And, again, I don't know if there's an issue, like... I think what it is is that in the comic book, you know, Rick doesn't really talk about his brother a lot, but you can sort of get away with it because it's a comic book, right? You can just kind of like ignore that. But I think when it comes to TV, people just really remember and they're really going to focus on the fact that why hasn't Rick ever talked about his brother? And it really could just be the fact that, you know, maybe he just doesn't really get along with his brother and they just never really did. Or I don't know, you can come up with some sort of storyline. But honestly, for me, I am I'm totally OK if they actually did, you know, introduce that storyline. I think that'd be really, really fun, I think, for a lot of fans. And I think what may be a little bit more OK with it is. Again, I've always thought that it would just be a little silly, but seeing The Hollywood Reporter talking about it and just the way they sort of lay it out where it's like, well, you know what happens in the comic? He does have a brother. It's just like, yeah, I mean, obviously it makes sense. And also just in the comic, again, Rick never talks about his brother. There's not one mention by Rick Grimes about his brother at all. So it would be the same thing as the show. So that's, uh, to me, I think if they were to do the storyline, I'd be, I'd be totally on board and I think it would be really, really exciting. And um, I mean, yeah, I think you need some excitement right now. I think right now the Walking Dead universe needs to create some sort of overall excitement about where the future is sort of going. I think people can see it. Obviously, Andrew Lincoln sort of teased a lot there, right? But I think Daryl Dixon season two is going to be the, the next part here where people are like, you know, like, where is everything going here, right? But I will say, you know, going into uh, The Ones Who Live uh, or before The Ones Who Live, going into Dead City people were sort of in the same place. Like, we just want to see Rick and Michonne again. We just want to see where the story is and sort of where everything is going. And it feels nice to actually have had that story told and now just be in the storyline where Rick and Michonne are probably at the Commonwealth. They might not be there. Maybe they're at the CRM. It's possible they took Judith and RJ to the CRM. Uh, but they're going to be helping out people. And that's sort of, you know, we know where they are. And now we have to watch the other shows to see where can this potential story go to reunite all the characters? Because everyone's on board to do that, it seems like. The story just has to be right. And Gimple and Denai seem to be sort of working on that story right now. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun to see where this goes. There's a lot of options here. And, uh, yeah, definitely post where you think the story should go next. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.